Hello, welcome to a new vlog. It's January 24th and I just finished this collection back here. And I'm so excited about how they came out. They are so pretty. So this video is gonna have, you know, day to day in the studio, a lot of painting and kind of a preview of all the pieces that are gonna be available. So thank you for being here. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so much. And here we go. For this collection, I decided to work on wood panel because I wanted to bring that similar concept of some paintings that I did last year over into these, which was leaving that raw wood border and having the painting kind of centered in the middle and framed by that. For the most part for these paintings, I tried to use colors straight out of the tube because I knew I wanted to match the painting and the frame as closely as I could. I actually did create a couple colors for this though, that green you see over there I created and then a really pretty mauve color that you'll see at the end I made too, just because I thought they rounded out the collection really nicely. What are you doing up there? What are you doing? Are you ready to go? You want to go for a ride in the car? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I decided to take Reba to a little park next to the Franklin Mountains, which is a really big mountain range in El Paso. And she's never been anywhere like this, so she was fascinated. It was the cutest thing ever. She was so tired when we got back. Kind of the goal though, so that I could paint some more. So these paintings started out differently depending on what color background they had. If they were a light or medium colored background, I was able to start them with pencil, which I really liked because it gave them a really sketchy quality. So I started out by sketching very general shapes, but I brought in a lot of shading later on that brought a lot of depth to everything and it blended in with the paint so nicely. I was in love with this effect and I kept it up as much as I could. So here's what I'm talking about where I literally just blended so messily. This is the part of every single one of these paintings where I said, Mm, this one might not work out, <laughs> but once the paint was added, it was pure magic, especially blending in with the pencil. It just gave it a little extra that came out so nice. These paintings are very layered, so on top of that pencil, I would go in with a layer of paint that was just a bit lighter than the background. It looks a lot lighter when I first put it on, but that's because acrylic paint always dries darker. So you'll see later that this color isn't that big of a difference from the background. 
and then as the painting continued on I would go lighter and lighter and layer back with more pencil. On the darker paintings though I had to just start out straight with paint which was fun to have kind of a different process for different paintings I did really want to bring that sketchiness in though that the lighter paintings had so I actually went back with a white pencil to give that same textured effect that the other paintings have These were honestly so relaxing for me to create. Each of these little brush strokes was just so satisfying. Honestly, taking inquiries for anyone who wants to buy this as a set because look how cute it all looks together. Hello again. I'm editing this video right now and just realized that I forgot to film an outro. So here we are. Come here. You want to get up? Look how Whoa. Transition. 
this collection officially releases on Monday, January 30th, and I'm so excited to share it with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you have enjoyed this video, I would love it if you'd like and subscribe to my channel. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.